we're creating scenarios in our mind around worry, yeah. things that we don't want. So the power is already in them. I don't, I, I, I teach them to self-hypnotize. I self-hypnotize myself every day. I get up in the morning, I will not walk out in the real world, watch news and deal with negative people until I've self-hypnotized myself. It's called priming of the mind. So all of you have the tools to prime your mind. We talk about emotionalization, visualization, affirmations, reviewing your goals. We teach them because they need to prime their mind and build a strong mind before they walk out in the real world. Because the moment they walk out in the real world, the world is largely negative. It's made up of negative influences. So we don't, I don't want to make them dependent on me. I want them to become independent in making decisions. We even have given you a decision-making framework, how to make decisions, right? Creativity framework, unleashing your genius framework because we want them to be independent. In fact, a lot of the times if they come and ask me a question, I go, well, go back to the program and ask yourself, why are you thinking about it? I don't want them to become dependent on me. The whole idea is to empower them. But at the moment, sometimes it takes a lot of time because people are so in the habit of immediately when they have a question, they ask somebody else rather than connecting within themselves, right? So a lot of the answers are inside of them, but they're not connected within themselves. I'm not saying anyone in particular, but this is what happens. So that's when depression sets in, anxiety sets in, low confidence, low self-esteem. And then once you have low self-esteem, then you have a hundred other problems in life.